Hi, so we're working on this thing, which is a wind generator. It's a cubo-octahedron wind generator based on the O-Wind concept. And I was reading through the comments, and people were really saying some interesting things. But when I was looking at this, what they were saying was when the wind hits this flat face, effectively it's just going to stall. And I thought, well, yeah, actually, that's quite right. But when I was uh, considering it, then I thought, well, what about if the wind could blow through and we had an airfoil shape, surely... Given the wind blowing that direction, airfoil shaped that way, then we should get thrust in that direction. Now, if it's pivoted around a point, any thrust in that direction, of course, is going to turn the device in that direction. So it occurred to me that an airfoil on here that allowed that should actually give a benefit. So I made some of these things. I've made actually three of them. I've got three more to make. And what they are is just a frame made out of plastic. So it's a plastic frame. And then I've got some Venetian blind. This Venetian blind already has an airfoil shape. So if I give it an attack angle like that, the wind heading here should flow over that surface and we should get thrust perpendicular to that direction of wind and that surface in that direction. So if I face them like that, then that thrust should be toward me. So that's the idea. So I'm going to take these flat faces off and replace them with six of these Venetian blind squares and we'll see what happens. Okay, so there it is done. Now I really like this actually. I think that's looking really pretty cool. So we need to get that in the wind and uh, see what it does. So let's do that. So I put it in front of the trees so you got some idea of wind speed and wind direction. And somebody pointed out to me that the uh, generator from the previous version was turning the wrong way. You would have noticed, I hope, that this is turning the right way. That is, the airfoils are pointing um, out. The wind is, sorry, the airfoils are pointing that way, the wind is going that way, so the rotation should be that way. And it's rotating that way. So it's now working on the thrust from the airflow over those veins, or at least that's what I think. Now, I'm actually loving this. I think it's really kind of cool. Because remember what it is essentially is a two fans, one on top of each other, where the blades have been bent down. Now, I've done it this way because the idea here is that um, these can be used in urban environments, not clear open spaces. Clear open spaces, without a doubt, a big old propeller is going to do you uh, a world of good. But if you're in an urban space like a flat or in a built-up area where you get changes of wind and wind buffeting, this should be able to cope with it because it's based on the same idea that the O-Wind is using. And that's basically two fans in different directions to capture the wind change. So that's what's going on here. At least that's what I think is what's going on here. Now it's probably less efficient than a big old uh, propeller-based fan-based wind generator. Most things are, so it probably is. But it's not really to compete with that because you try, you try and put a big old fan or propeller in the middle of a built-up area or in an area where you need planning permission for that, then it's just not going to happen. Most people live in cities. I think it was last year that 50% of the world population now live in cities. So the idea is to create something that would be um, usable in that space. It's not meant to compete with a propeller um, driven wind turbine. It's meant to be used in spaces where you couldn't use that solution. Now obviously it's fairly compact, so you don't have huge blades flying all over the place, which I think is kind of cool. It would fit in a small area. It copes with buffeting winds. And one of the key things I think is, um, O-Wind obviously is uh, patent protected. This is open source. I've not seen anything like this. I mean, maybe there is something, maybe I'm missing it, and it's highly likely, it's highly possible. But this cuboctahedron-based wind turbine, as far as I'm concerned, as far as I know, is um, 
only appearing here and is now open source. So if you want to know how to build this, if you just come to watch this video and you haven't seen the other stuff, then I've created a playlist called the um, Cuboptagon Wind Generator. Have a look at the videos on that. All the details are in there on how to exactly make this little device. Um, so it's an open source device. It would fit in an urban environment, can cope with wind change direction. I think that's pretty awesome all by itself. Now, obviously, there are still things to do on this. I haven't yet connected it to a motor and seen what it's like trying to generate under load. Believe you me, that is the next step. But I mean, um, kiss, this idea occurred to me last night and I wanted to explore it. And obviously, it didn't take me long to do that. So I don't think it'll take very long to do it. Anyway, uh, I thought I'd keep you up to date with the progress so you could see what changes I've been making. I hope you enjoyed the video and thank you very much for watching.